So I'm finally getting around to furnishing the apartment. Two items came in that I'm really excited to show you guys. I feel like there's a difference between furnishing your apartment and then decorating it, right? Because I have all of my furnishings besides a couch, which I want to get eventually. But then in terms of decorations, I feel like I don't have that much stuff like I don't have that much artwork, but that one I painted myself, but I would like to add more other things to the apartment. I was looking online and I got some ideas. So this is just one of them. It's hot, it's hot, oh my God. If you guys are watching this later, it's the day where it's like been 60, 70 degrees for two days straight. And I don't have an AC in my apartment right now. So I'm just like literally burning up. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. Ready? It's a vintage New Yorker cover. Literally original. Isn't that crazy? I tried to find meaning for me behind each of the, so I got two New Yorker pieces, right? One is coming later this week. So this is the first one. And I tried to find meaning for me behind each of the pieces that I got, including like the pieces that I'm getting later on. So yeah, for me, <laughs> this is very representative of my personality state most of the time. All right, and then I have a frame for it, right? Because I'm gonna hang it. So I got this frame off of Amazon and initially when I bought it or when I first got it, the glass was broken. I still need to return the other one, but they sent me a replacement for now. So I'm so excited. It doesn't sound broken. So hopefully it isn't. Okay, so. don't mind the deer inside. Yeah, it's just like a wood frame. I wanted to have different styles of frames in my apartment. So yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited about that. And also I'm trying to get like canvas frames for those canvases that are made in the back, but canvas frames are so expensive. So I just feel like I could wait on it a little bit, you know, and I'd rather be buying like other decorations in the meantime. You get it. Oh shoot. Wow. Okay. You could even see there's like a advertisement on the back. And it's on the front. Wow. Are you guys ready? Okay. Okay, I got like a little glimpse. I didn't mean to, but oh my God. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna hang this up later. I'll show you guys where I'm gonna hang it up once the second New Yorker cover comes, but I'm so happy. One thing that I can hang up right now though is this frame. It's like a Polaroid frame that I made in 2019 with a double-sided um, glass. I wanna hang it up now just because I can and I bought the command strips, so let's go do that. So I have these cabinet um, knobs that I'm gonna install on my cabinets right here. I don't know. I watch a lot of home interior videos and they always say like one of the ways that you're able to upgrade your home is to just like add new cabinet knobs. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. What do you guys think about this one? I think it's nice because the uh, uh, pendant lights have gold on the top of the ceilings if you see right there. You know, so it's like a little bit of a correlation. But at the same time, I've always been conflicted. If you've seen those YouTubers in California that have like all gold hardware homes, you know, I feel like sometimes I wish I could be like that, but I just know that's not realistic within a certain budget. So, and especially because I'm renting, right? So this is just a solution for now. And it is really pretty. Like it's a wood and some brass hardware. I just finished installing the 
knobs and I feel like they're so nice. It was a little bit hard because I feel like I stripped some of the screws. Do you guys know what strip means? It means like you're pulling so hard on the little indents that they become non-existent and you're just, it's just like a hole in and of the screw. And I have everything up there too. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a minor improvement and it's very, very subtle. Hey guys, so it is currently 8.43 p.m. on a Tuesday night and I have a little bit of a project to do. So you can see these stools in the back, they go under that table right there. I got these stools because they match the metal of the table with those metal legs right there. But then I don't like the faux leather seat. So I actually ordered some fabric off of Etsy and I'm going to reupholster them right now. I showed you guys a clip earlier of me wiring the cables, but I finally got my Apple TV in. So I was able to get it set up for the TV and everything. It's just like so nice to be able to watch things on the big screen, you know, even if I'm just on the floor right now. So yeah, I really like it. Currently I'm watching the Netflix show Pieces of Her on the TV, it's okay so far. I don't really know, it's like, okay, but maybe it'll get better. covers are a little bit dusty because they were on the floor but I don't know I really like it I feel like because the uh, covers before or the leather before was the same brown as the table it felt a little bit weird to me you know so now there's like a little bit of contrast and I really like it what do you guys think it's definitely not perfect <laughs> you know like some parts there's like a little bit of sagging right here but it should be good. Ducky, ducky. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's such a beautiful day outside. Even the sun is shining through because usually it doesn't, it like reflects off of that office building. But ah, it looks so pretty right now. Just got some packages now and I, oh, my skin's looking rough. But I just got some packages and I wanted to unbox them with you guys. It's so heavy, hold on. Oh my god. Oh shit! <laughs> it's fucking huge. I don't think I realized it would be this big. I got this lamp off of one of my favorite Instagram vintage shops. The, I'll put the handle, the Instagram handle up here, but <laughs> it's so nice. I, just because everything's so modern, I wanted to bring in something that was a little bit more age looking. And I bought a shade for it on Etsy, so I'm really excited. This is a lamp, if you guys couldn't tell by the way. There's a cord for it and everything. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so this is what the room looks like right now. I'm gonna clean it up and then we have two more packages to unbox.
sunlight. <laughs> okay, so I kind of finished cleaning up the styrofoam. You can see there are like little particles everywhere, but that's why styrofoam is a little bit annoying, but I understand the necessity, you know? Okay, so the next two packages. Here we go. Ooh, I'm so excited for this one. Are you guys ready? So I showed you guys the first New Yorker uh, original cover that I got, right? So this is the second one. Drum roll, please. Ta -da. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is me. This girl is supposed to be representative of me being escorted out of bars or clubs. <laughs> It's okay, we embrace our past, you know, it's all good. But I just thought it was kind of a funny homage to everything that has happened before. Yeah, I love it so much. I actually got this frame off of Amazon to go with that art, so let's put it in together right now. Wow. And just like the other cover, you can tell that it was from an actual magazine. This is from 1942. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, it's so pretty. Let's put it next to the other one. Wow! Last one. Okay, so. I could tell some of y'all were like a little bit peeved at me for painting the walls white, right? The reason why I did was because I really wanted to be able to switch out the colors in my space depending on how I felt like as I grew into the room itself and living alone. So this is kind of the beginning of the color scheme I'm going for. So I have a vintage floral pillowcase right here and I got two and I got these two pillows on Amazon a while ago as well. I was saving them for this. And I am gonna be doing laundry today, so I'll throw these into the laundry with everything, and then we'll put the covers on the pillows, and I'll show you guys how it looks from the bed later. But isn't it so pretty? Okay, so I kind of need your guys' help to decide where to put up the two New Yorker frames, right? So I have two places where I'm thinking about putting them up. One is here, like along the wall, so one would be lower and one would be higher right or along this wall in the kitchen like here and here you know or like here and here let me tell you the pros and cons for both right so uh pros of putting it up here i feel like there's such a big empty blank space right here and the living area where the couch is going to be is going to be like right around here so when people look over this way all they're going to see is that blank area um but then the thing is i already have another frame up there with my uh polaroid double glass frame so i don't know if it's going to be like too much to have frames on both sides right or I put it on this side and this way you're able to see the art better. So when people come over, they're able to look over here and be like, hmm, oh, like what is that one about, you know? And I'll be like, oh yeah, this one is about me getting kicked. So, so if it was over there, I wouldn't be able to uh, talk to people as much about it, right? And I feel like people wouldn't be able to point it out and be like, oh, what's that? You know, it, it would just be something in the background versus if it was here, it would be like front and center, you know? But yeah, I don't really know. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm probably going to hang them up by the time that this video comes out because everything is very backdated right now. But I really appreciate your guys' opinion anyway. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like from far away. Yay! Okay, so I tried to get them centered as best as I could, um, but obviously I feel like the pole being there makes everything feel like it needs to shift this way a little bit, so that's what I did. But 
I really like the vibe it brings. It adds some color into the room with like the little pops of red, yellow, and the pinks up there as well. And yeah, I just think it's so unique and I really like it. Okay, secret guys. I'm trying to get some curtains eventually that are uh, from the ceiling to the floor. <laughs> I feel like it'd be really pretty. So I'm going to order those eventually. But in the meantime, this adds some color into the side of the wall other than the plants and the lights. <laughs> My desk finally has a lamp. Woo! And I know it can seem a little bit unnecessary with like all the other lighting going on, but I was watching interior design videos, right? They were all saying like, oh, it's really important to get different heights of lights because it adds comfort to the room. And also when I'm filming <laughs> selfie videos like this, it's nice to have a direct light rather than just the window light casting on me like that, you know? <laughs> so yeah, let me show you guys the actual lamp. So this lamp, it has a dimmer. It's very vintage, as you could tell, it like dims slowly. Lower the brightness. Yeah, and this is an Edison bulb, you can see. Yeah. So I had never owned something actually vintage before I like got this apartment or started planning to get this apartment. So I really wanted to incorporate stuff that has history rather than just all new items because I am getting a lot of new items, right? But I did want to incorporate things that have meaning and history, including those posters that I hung up earlier today. So yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, another factor why I chose a vintage lamp specifically for this desk area was that everything here is super modern, right? So like the standing desk is super modern. The Ikea desk is just like a white square basically. So I wanted something round first of all, right? And something a little bit more industrial. Uh, I don't know if this is mid-century modern necessarily. If any of you guys know interior design styles, let me know. But yeah, I'm very happy with this purchase. I already got it on Etsy. If you want me to link the shop name, I will for you. This lampshade is set up. I don't know how I feel about it being here right now. If you guys like kind of look at the setup right now. I'll me back up a little bit more. I'm on the floor. What do you guys think? Let me know. For now, it'll live here. I don't think it looks bad. It just It's just like a little bit awkward right now and I don't know if I'm liking it. <laughs>